You guys invented sauerkraut, right? Yes, we did. Master Ken with another episode of Master Ken's Privates. With me today is Christian... Wiedewald. From Germany. Where in Germany? I live in the area Cologne. Cologne, okay. I, I, I wear that. His style is... Basically Shotokan. Basically Shotokan. It's pretty basic. What are you going to be demonstrating for us today? I would like to show my first things first principle. And what is that? Oh, it means in case when you have to defend yourself that you use your first shield, that is your limb that which has the closest distance to your opponent, uh, to defend yourself and after that decide which body part has the closest, closest distance to the attacker. Do the first shot with this part and after that do what you can do best. And how long have you been speaking English? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mentioned Ian uh, in, in the chat we had that sometimes I feel uncomfortable speaking English because it is not as good as it should be. And he said, well, you are the German, you are the purple cow in karate. <laughs> because of my strong German accent, I think. Purple cow is, of course, where we get grape juice. Hi, I'm Christian Wedewart from KaratePraxis.com and I want to introduce you to my first things first principle. So if you please attack me with your right hand, I block his attack with my first limb, so this has the closest, closest distance to the opponent. And after that, I decide which body part has the closest distance to him again, to use it as a first attack to distract him from his plans. And it would be like this and that. And then I can go here and do it here, control him and switch out the light. If, in case he is already standing, I do it like this. And this is a good idea as well. Let's do it again. So, you attack me, I do it like this and this, here. Kick him, hit him, and then I can go ahead. All right, so my number one problem with Mr. Vanderbilt's technique is that it is basic. Ameridote is, by its very nature, an advanced style. That means in Ameridote, we ain't no basic b****s. So we're going to advance this technique by doing the opposite of first things first. I call it last things first. I'm going to strike with the weapon that is furthest from my opponent to maximize power. Say that I'm a, a car parked right in front of Todd and I start driving and hit him, this is gonna brush him back. But if I park a mile away and get a driving start, gonna destroy him. So we're gonna do the same thing with the principle of self-defense. So he's about to strike and I distract him. Hey, look at that purple cow. And now that I'm far away, I'm gonna throw a punch from as far away as possible. Now I throw a kick from as far as possible. Now a flying knee. And as always, Restomp that groin. <laughs> All right, I'd like to thank Christian for coming in and teaching us the basic <laughs> technique, which I corrected with the advanced Ameridote <laughs> assassins. And uh, if people want to find out more about you, what do they do? Go on the web karatepraxis.com or contact me directly under info at karatepraxis.com. And tune in again next time for another episode of Master Ken's Privates. You ever put cologne on your sauerkraut? <laughs> if you'd like to learn more about whatever uh, martial art this guy teaches and you want to read about it instead of actually getting on the mat and training, he has a book that you can buy. This is the uh, Japanese version. <laughs> yes, it looks like, but it is a German version currently. It's called uh, Das Heer an Kata Bunkai Phänomen, and there will be an English version too uh, that will be called uh, The Heer an Kata Bunkai Phenomenon.
That's the English title. Thanks for watching our video. Remember, you can order your own personalized video message from me, Master Ken, by going to Cameo. So whether it's a happy birthday, or you want me to tell you, or your instructor, why your martial art is total bullshit, go to Cameo and order your video message today. And remember, always restop that groin.